Hey guys, Ginger Gargoyle here again. I goofed up. I hit the off button instead of the unpause button. So let's get back to the cast off. We are down to just two. I am down to just two stitches left. What do you do from here? Well, let's do the last stitch like a regular old cast off. And of course, now I'm going to start having issues because now I'm back on camera. All right, so what do you do? You do the exact same thing. Okay, do the exact same thing. Okay, but now what? Now you got one loop left. I slip the loop back onto my needle. I then proceed to cut my thread. Oh, I proceed to cut my thread with a long enough tail so I'm not fighting with it. Okay. With a long enough tail. They usually say four inches. side. I'm just being very you guys ever have one of those days where nothing seems to go the way you want it to? That's my day today. Woke up with a headache. My dog is being stupid. And now I can't even cut a thread. Okay. So now we've got this back on this needle. We are going to knit this stitch one more time. It doesn't matter which direction. It doesn't matter if you knit or you purl. What you want to do is pull this through here all the way through and then pull it tight. Now you just made a knot on the end and look you have got this completely done. Woohoo! Kachoo! Okay, so your assignment before the next project. <laughs> yes, there's one more project that we're going to be able to do. We're going to work on increases and decreases. Okay, so it's going to be another washcloth. You guys can make it as big as you want. Okay, but get this done first. Remember to knit these last 10 rows. Okay, just knit or just purl. I'm leaving it up to you whichever one you have the issue with, all right? And then work off your bind off, just like I showed you, okay? And then these, you know, I don't worry about these generally. Um, sometimes I clip them back. Sometimes you can just kind of weave them in, but uh, on a washcloth, it doesn't really matter. In fact, sometimes I leave them long enough so I can just tie a little, little knot in there and then that way I can hang it from a hook or a nail or a screw or whatever. And then when I'm done doing whatever I'm doing with it, whether I'm using it as a washcloth for my face or a dishcloth in the kitchen, I can hang it by that loop for it to dry. Okay? Use cotton. You can throw it through your wash machine. And you'll be able to bleach it. Okay, guys, I will talk to you all later. Sorry this wound up in two parts. Bye-bye.